In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys one of the best pass plays, if not the best pass play in Madden 20. Now it is considered a pass play. And if you watch my previous video, I ran this on a guy in regs. He could not stop it. He came out in three, four odd edge blitz. He came out in three, four bear. He tried everything he could to try to stop this play and he couldn't do it. Now today I'm gonna show you guys the play. Then I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to stop it. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on this video. Let's try to get this one here to 300 likes. It starts with you, man. I appreciate the love and support from you guys. If you're new, subscribe, turn notifications on because if you see the title of my videos, I don't really put the plays and stuff like that. So if you have notifications on, you'll be able to pick up on the video and know where we're at. And on your own channel, you can create a playlist. So if I drop something from the Saints playbook, you can create a playlist, Saints plays. If I drop something from the Raiders, create a playlist, Raiders plays. And what's cool about that is it doesn't have to just be my own videos. You can have any other YouTubers videos in your own playlist. So if someone else drops a Saints play that you like, another channel, then, then put that in your playlist. Now we're gonna be in the New Orleans Saints playbook in today's video. We're using the Chiefs now. I get this a lot, all right? And, and, and it's kind of, I don't, I don't get it. People get mad that I use the Chiefs to win games in regs, bro. If you watched my previous video, a good player tried to use the Cardinals and he lost. I dominated him. You don't want to put yourself against that wall. If you're trying to win, you need the best team, man. I don't care what anyone says. You have to use the best team, ultimate team. The whole idea behind that mode is to have the best team. So if you're playing ultimate team, right? You want the best team. Okay, empty trio, enough of that. Empty trio, uh, you don't want to make no changes. What I do recommend if you're not using the Chiefs, you want your fastest wide receiver right here where Tyreek Hill is, and you want your fastest running back in this spot right here. Name of the play is the jet touch pass. Now, what I see a lot of people do, um, they'll come out on big nickel or they'll come out big dime 146. So a big dime 146, you'll see this number, right? Where they, they run the cover two sink and they'll pull people in. Now me, I should have turned auto flip off. Let me go ahead and flip the play. I guess it doesn't really matter to be honest with you guys. Let's just reset the play. All right, we'll just leave it like this and then we'll blitz this guy too. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because like I said, with the cover two sync, and the way this play works, I should have got off that guy. It doesn't matter because he's gonna get open and it's gonna pretty much be damn near a touchdown, right? In pretty much any defense, if you use this play, if you use three, four bear, any of these plays right here, it's gonna beat it. And this is what I like running against the, the Big Dime 146. Now there is a way to stop it out of Big Dime 146 that I'm gonna share with you guys. Let me use it the D line. But right here with the Tyree kill, boom, you just come off the edge. It's pretty much, if, if I can break free, that's a touchdown. You see what I'm saying? This pass play, it's a pass play, considered a pass, is very, very powerful if you don't know what you're doing. So if you can come to the th cover three sky, it doesn't matter, bro. Like you see how the cover three sky is over here? You bring this guy in, it doesn't matter what you run. If you're gonna wanna stop it out of the big dime 146, there's all, really literally only one way to do it. And I'm still gonna get yards. Now, right here, this happens to me in regs where like if they run like a cover three sky, sometimes, right? I'll get clipped right there at the edge. But then like if you just stay consistent with the play, right? Then you're gonna start breaking them. Like they can't stop it every single time, bro. It's just too hard. You see like right here, they can't stop it every single time. I'm gonna get 10 plus 10 yards, touchdowns and stuff like that. You even heard me or heard me say that in my gameplay. I said, you could probably run touchdowns with this. And then I ran a touchdown with it like right after I said that. So. The cover two sink, it's no, no really point in me showing you guys this because none of these defenses can stop it. I can even run it up the middle, but I can create my own. There's just so many, so much space with this play right here. And running it like against three, four is very good too because when people run the three, four, let me show you guys, because I run across this too since I've been running it. People come out in the three, four odd, right? And they'll come out like in uh. I guess cover two, cover four, you could do cover four. They'll pull everybody in. You know, you know the move, right? And then they'll use this. Now, once I get them into this position, I'm gonna show you guys something. You could still run this play against those because they can't stop it. You see what I'm saying? Like they can't stop it regardless. But whenever I notice that they start doing this like in cover four, let me show you guys something really quick. So, and I come across this a lot, bro. I'm telling you guys right now. Why do they do that? Bro, baseline. 
Okay, once I see this, because they're trying to blitz me heavy, and let's just say, those are Tyreek Hill. Let's say this is the user, right? What I do is I just audible out of it, right? And then I put hitch routes. So it'd be like Y on a hitch, RB on a hitch. And then I just watch the user. So it'll be like right here. You see what I'm saying? And that's how I attack. That's how I attack the heavy blitzes, forcing them to get out of the blitz. So if they're running in three, four, where they pull people, they baseline pull people in, blitz everybody, right? Or even bring them down to the line, I guess, if they really want to try to stop the, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop uh, your jet touch pass. And like I said, it is too hard to stop out of three, four odd. It doesn't matter what run play. Now I've seen people try to stop it with the pinch dog two press and it kind of slows it down, but not really, bro. Look, look at this right here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just an insane run play that you can use against three, four bear, three, four odd. There's only two real ways that I know to stop it. And I'm going to share that with you guys right now. So the first way is out of the big dime 146 and the name of the play. Okay, from the big nine one four six is going to be the DB Sting two buzz. Now, it comes at a cost to stop it from the big nine one four six. There is a penalty for it, and the penalty is you're blitzing everybody, right? So you're gonna blitz all linebackers, QB contain, bring your guys in like this. Now, it's not a good idea that these guys come off the line. You don't really want them to come, your linebackers to come off the line or your safeties, whoever you have in that position. Now, it comes at a penalty. Meaning that I can still throw hitch routes on you because you're blitzing everybody. But if you can chess match this, then you got some. Well, actually, that didn't stop him. But what you're banking on, <laughs> that's not that wasn't good right there. What you're banking on is you could probably just blitz everybody and not bring nobody in. That's probably your best bet, homies, is just to blitz everybody and not bring nobody in. Because right there kind of screwed us. OK, you see that? Why well, he's still getting away, bro. OK, you probably need someone faster. You're probably gonna need someone faster in that position because this guy doesn't seem to be fast. In other teams and stuff like that, he usually picks them up in the backfield, bro. So here we go. You see how they come off the line? That's what you want right there. So blitzing all the linebackers. If you don't blitz all the linebackers, it's not gonna work. But you're gonna have to use this guy and then you're gonna really have to pay attention to what's going on because if your opponent picks up on what you're doing, then he's back to stick. See what I'm saying? If you see that alignment shift, then what I would recommend um, audible out so if he comes out jet touch pass and then you see that alignment shift watch when I go to stick my deep my offense change what I would do is I would just so audible back to a cover two now you're kind of screwed there bro you're gonna have to like reset the play so your defense doesn't get confused and then you'll do that you know what I'm saying and if he goes back come back to uh, jet touch pass you'll see them move in so you'll know it's jet touch pass if they're together like this from the empty trio Whenever he audibles out, they move out. So if they're spread out like that in empty trio, then you know it's a pass play. But if he goes to jet touch pass, I want you guys to pay attention. I think it's important that you see that. Then you go back to your play. So you'll just reset the play and run the all out blitz, blitz all linebackers. Now, if that guy's inside, I can't really guarantee that he'll get through. But what you're banking on, actually he's not. So you're gonna, you can't base a line. And that's gonna go for the next play as well. You don't base align this play and you don't move nobody in if you're gonna try to tackle this jet touch pass because it's already hard to stop. But with this where you blitz all linebackers, you have a little bit of an opportunity. Now that's one way to do it. Probably not the best way, but it's one way, okay? Especially I think if he flips the play as well. So if, he, if we flip the play and we blitz everybody, I think you have a better chance because Williams isn't as fast as Tyreek Hill, so I don't think he can just get away. You see what I'm saying? He can't just get away. So, depending, but usually, people are gonna just run it with Tyreek Hill, bro. I don't know what that was right there, but let's go ahead and reset that, okay? Just like that, and then we'll just run with Tyreek Hill. Like I said, it, depending. You see how he's too slow? Put somebody faster in that position. Who is that right there? Got to get him out of that position right there and put someone faster, okay? So right there on the end, your fastest is gonna have to be there. There's no choice, there's no way around it. Now, an easier way to stop it is out of the big nickel. So what you wanna do with the big nickel is you wanna put your safeties in this position. So free safety, and then if you have another safety, put them in this position, okay? But what I did, I just flipped Warner and put a safety right here, so uh, Tervarius Moore. And on the left side, or, or you want your fastest cornerbacks in, in this position in these back positions so fastest cornerbacks uh and then safeties on your linebackers and the name of the play and you want to turn auto flip on remember auto flip on 
and you're just gonna run cover six defense. Now, if you follow my lead, homies, okay? Just do what I'm saying, cover six. So when you see empty trio, assume that your opponent's gonna be running the jet touch pass, okay? Run cover six, and the only adjustment you need to make to stop the play, okay, and this is, I'm not talking about back end and coverages, just to stop this play is to bring this guy down like this with these with these two guys. Do not base the line, do not do none of that. And you'll see with that simple adjustment, you'll have someone already there in cover six to stop the play. Now, someone smart is gonna see that you did that, right? Boom. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna flip the play. When you see that, you have to flip the play. So you have to flip the play and you're gonna have to bring this guy over here to this side, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a chess match, I know. It sucks, it sucks, I know it does. But you have to do it, you have no choice. You're trying to get this guy to the side over here and just clobber that side with cover six. So remember, whenever they're running jet touch pass, it's gonna come from the two wide receiver side to the left, they need three blockers. I'm telling you guys, I, I'm, I'm surprised this play hasn't picked up at all, like any steam online. I feel like I'm the only one running it, bro. But this is the easier way to stop it. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you have your fastest corners right there where the guy gets released or an, a safety, or actually you can put a corner back there. That's true, you really can. Uh, you just wanna bring Harris down. So your fastest right here, just bring him in between these two guys. I don't know about bringing him outside these guys. I guess we could try, maybe it'll have a better effect, but I wouldn't recommend that because of the passing. You're, nah, nah, see, you see what I'm saying? You don't wanna do that. You wanna bring him down. Now, back in adjustments in the cover six is gonna be up to you. What I would recommend is, since you don't know for sure, right? Unless you could pick up on the alignment. Uh, if you look at your defense, you see where you're weak at. You have the fade route, you have anything over the middle. So what I would recommend you do is like, uh, I'm on offense. Take A, which is Ward, put him. I wonder why he, why it did that. Look at that, bro. Look how strange that looks. Put him on a middle third, okay? Put him on a middle third. And then you wanna put B on a blue. So like this, it'll look like this, okay? So you won't really get beat over the top. Uh, and then you'll be using this guy. So you'll probably have to follow Tyree Kill, man. So if he runs, you run, you go with him. You're trying to stop the play yourself. So if he takes off left, you already know what time it is. So I'm just gonna man him up, okay? Boom, that would be the, that would be the setup in cover six to stop this play. Now, like I said, it, it slows it down tremendously. And that's what you need. So I showed you guys a dominant pass play. It's a pass play. And then I showed you the defense behind it. Two ways to stop it. I would recommend you run the cover six version rather than the big dime 146 because you're leaving too many holes in your defense with that. And in cover six, you can actually have a decent uh, pass rush because you know the big nickel has a lot of block shedding and that helps your situation a lot more than, you know, so if they fake the empty, the, the jet touch pass and they go to a pass and you'll have some pretty good coverage in the backfield. So there it is, man. Hope you guys appreciate. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. Love you guys, man. Peace.